Hello everyone, this is Harshita Bhargav from Chitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we are going to discuss about strategic analysis and choice. Now the process of strategic analysis and choice that means we have to analyze various strategic alternatives available to an organization and choose among those available strategic alternatives so that we can implement strategies in time and this process of strategic analysis and choice comes under the analytical framework and this framework comprises three stages stage one is input stage stage two is matching stage and stage three is decision stage so if we talk about stage one that is input stage this stage provides basic input information regarding strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats so that an organization could use this input information for the matching and decision stage now comes stage two which is matching stage Matching stage focuses on generating feasible alternative strategies. That means here the internal important information which is regarding strengths and weaknesses will be matched with opportunities and threats present in the environment. And this would be done with the help of various matrices like SWOT metrics, space metrics, BCG metrics and grand strategy metrics. So if I talk about SWOT metrics, the full form of SWOT is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. It can also be called as TOWS metrics that is threats, opportunities, weaknesses and again strengths now this matrix talks about internal factors and external factor and the matching of internal factors with external factors like so which means use your strengths to grab new opportunities wo make use of opportunities to overcome weaknesses st eliminate external threats with your strength wt overcome your weaknesses to counter external threats second matrix is strategic position and action evaluation matrix this matrix talks about financial strength of an organization the factors which are responsible for stability in the environment competitive advantage and the strength of the industry next is boston consulting group matrix this matrix talks about the market share and market growth of an organization and this would be analyzed with the help of stars, question marks, dogs and cash cows. Here star represents those organizations which are having more market share with more market growth. Question marks represents those organizations which are having high market growth and low market share. Cash cows represents those brands, those companies which are having high market share and low market growth and dog represents those companies which are having low market growth as well as low market share. So with the help of this BCG matrix, we are able to locate or position different brands or different companies among these four quadrants. Grand strategy matrix talks about mixture of different strategic alternatives which are available to an organization. Now, it depends upon the situation and circumstances of an organization that how it will use the combination of different strategies available to an organization. The last stage is decision stage which talks about choosing the correct and 
right strategy so that it can be implemented in time and in right manner. We can also say that strategic decisions are concerned with the scope of organizations like stability, expansion, retrenchment and combination. And these decisions are likely to be concerned with long term direction of the organization. So this was all about strategic analysis and choice. Thanks for watching.